Hey guys, how are you? Today's video is for IGCSE at Excel people, people sitting the last year of the old spec, so A star to G, and I'm talking about biology paper two today. So as before with my paper one video, this isn't a prediction video, this is me just pointing out for me the most important parts of the specification and the things I think you should be particularly concentrating on. Now the first thing I really wanted to say is don't be scared of this paper Lots of people don't like the fact that there's that big long passage at the front with the questions which link to the passage telling you to look at line whatever and a lot of the time it's annoying. It tells you to refer to a line and it doesn't really tell you anything in that line. Um, so don't panic about it. If you really, 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 really hate it, do start at question two, do the rest of the paper and then you'll see you have lots of time left over because it's only an hour long. There's only 60 marks available and you'll have plenty of time to focus on question one. The last thing I want you to do is have a go at question one, be worried about what's coming, and then really struggle with answering the questions to question one, and then be panicking about that the whole time for the rest of the paper, and you're not actually gonna perform your best with the rest of the paper, because you'll be panicking and thinking back to question one. If you're more inclined to do that, certainly start at question two, go through it that way, and then come back to question one. Otherwise, start from the beginning, Make sure you've read the passage really carefully. Make sure you've highlighted any key words. Put a little scribble next to it. So if it says genotype, make sure you scribble and say that that's the alleles that the organism contains, just to kind of get your eye in and know exactly what it is talking about. So in terms of the content though, my tutees and I will be looking a lot at the paper two only topics. We'll be looking at the nitrogen cycle and I'll be making sure that they know the difference between nitrogen fixing bacteria nitrifying bacteria and denitrifying bacteria. It is essential you know the difference between those bacterium. The bacteria that you find on the roots of leguminous plants, those are nitrogen fixing. Remember they convert nitrogen in the air to nitrates in the soil so they're very very good and farmers will often use those in crop rotation to increase the fertility of the soil. Nitrifying bacteria are also really good and remember they break down dead matter into first ammonia then nitrites and then nitrates, so they're really good as well. They increase the fertility of the soil. Denitrifying bacteria are the super annoying ones because what they do is they take nitrates in the soil and they convert it back to nitrogen in the air, which is kind of pointless and annoying for the farmer. So do bear all those three in mind. Remember to do with that, you've got the water cycle. So remember the links between transpiration, precipitation, etc. It doesn't come up very often, but it could come up this time. For me, a really big topic for paper two is Punnett squares, genetics. I think I'm right in thinking it didn't come up in paper one. There does tend to be a question somewhere either on paper one or paper two. So I'd make sure you're hot with your Punnett squares. Know the meanings of words such as genotype, phenotype, alleles, gametes. And the paper two part of this topic is codominance. So remember, usually if you're talking about a trait such as dwarf plants and tall plants, um, what you find is it's called complete dominance. So what you find is that the plants, the offspring's phenotype will either be short, dwarf plants, or they'll be tall plants. The thing with codominance is you don't get one or the other, you get a mixing. So an example of this, they, there was an example I think of a horse, and it said that some of the horse coats were white, some were red, and when their genes recombined you ended up with a roan coloured horse. So it wasn't white or red, it was roan. So do have a look at codominance again. Make sure you're happy drawing those Punnett squares because they are slightly more complicated. Um, just looking at my textbook, I remember that there's more to do on the eye. So make sure you know lots to do with the eye. I think the nervous system didn't come up. I think I'm right in thinking that. So make sure you know what a stimulus is, a receptor, the fact that the sensory neuron links the receptor to the central nervous system, the electrical impulses carry the message and the role of synapses. Um, but to do with the eye, the paper two topic is accommodation, so make sure you know how the lens changes its shape in order to focus on objects near and far. Um, yeah, and then after that really it's yogurt making. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt making. Make sure you've learned all the steps. The fact that you have to heat it originally, that you're pasteurizing to kill any pathogens that you use a culture of lactobacillus, which is the special bacteria that you put into yogurt that ferments the lactose sugar into lactic acid, that you need an optimum temperature, because we're talking about enzymes here of about 37 degrees 
So do be aware of all of those and the fact that homogenization means the distribution of fat droplets. So don't, don't discount anything. Do try and go over everything again, all the big topics, cells, circulatory system. Um, I think ADH came up, but it's still worth having a look at ultrafiltration, selective reabsorption, um, human impacts on the environment. I know de deforestation came up. Maybe have a look at eutrophication. Yes, yeah, so try, look over your notes, go through everything, but paying particular attention to those paper two topics as obviously paper two is where they will appear. Anyway, you're nearly there guys, so, so close. You've done so well. Your holiday is just around the corner. Just keep focusing, keep building on your revision. Don't worry too much if paper one felt like it didn't go too well. That's not a reason to not try really hard at paper two. You can definitely improve your grade if you do really well in paper two. So it's worth keeping going with that. Um, so yeah, take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.